It is a combination of different things. One is, there are opportunities. The amount of resistance. So direct action um, means so many different things, but to me, direct action means when our communities are coming together and taking action on something that they know to be right. So that could mean stopping an injustice, that could mean taking action to, to prop up our communities to do and make justice happen. Well, we were talking about like, um, Martin Luther King and how Youth are really going to be the ones who are facing a lot of the impacts from climate injustice and um, climate inaction. When, when world leaders or so-called leaders aren't taking action on climate change, when they're not making sure that the air and the land and the water are protected, who's going to face those issues? And really, the answer is our communities, but who's going to face them more and who's going to have to face them for longer? And the answer really is the future generations and the young people who right now are shut out of the decision-making processes. And they're the ones who are going to need going to have to be the leaders in the future to make sure that our communities stay resilient, stay strong. Write down either a message that you'd like, an issue that you're concerned about in Haiti, or a creative tactic that you'd like to work on. So in that way, if someone is like, hey, I want to write a song or write a remix to a song about something, then someone else might be like, oh, actually, that's what I'm interested in. Or if you want to make a puppet, then someone else might, you know, so we need to see what we're all interested in so that we can figure out I realize that my generation is the one coming up next. So we need to be more aware about climate justice because we need to know what's going on in the world. A lot of us, like, I know for me that I don't really focus on the world that much. I'm not really interested sometimes. But, like, when I learn about, like, what's going on with global warming, the pollution in the atmosphere and what's going on, like, the negative energy that's going on in the world, I realize that I have to make, like, bring it out more and bring it, aware to a lot of the kids that don't know that it used to be me. So that's why it's more important to me. It's really important for us to identify the villains, the bad guys in our communities, identify where those smokestacks are coming from, who owns those smokestacks. If you see any sort of flames in your community or a gas station in your community, identify who those, the owners are, try to get involved with the local environmental justice whether it's the indoor air quality 